Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Policy, the son of Nobe is my name. And as I have been promising all along, uh, I come back again to update you on the planned protest by Zimbabwean pro-opposition activists in Zambia where there is a meeting uh, of such uh, head of states uh, who are attending the 26th ordinary meeting of the ministerial committee of the organ on politics defense and security cooperation the meeting is slated for july 11 that is yesterday and july 12th which is today you will remember that uh on the sidelines of this meeting there are zimbabwean pro uh, opposition supporters and some members of the non-governmental organization sector who had planned to protest against the Zimbabwean president or Zimbabwe taking over as the next uh, incoming chair of the sub-regional body. Uh, their bone of contention is that Zimbabwe is not at a position where it can take over and chair the sub-regional body because, according to them, there, were, there is an impasse over the 2023 elections and they believe that uh, the SAC has the power to stop Zimbabwe taking over as the next chairperson of the organization and their point of contention is that there is no political tolerance in Zimbabwe. There is a stolen election in Zimbabwe uh, and that this has to be resolved and they are complaining also that there is harassment of opposition supporters, of opposition uh, leaders and uh, other pro-democracy fighters and they are saying that until, unless and until this has been addressed, there is no way that Zimbabwe can be allowed to become the next such chair. So you will remember that they are, that we posted yesterday that uh, apparently these guys have been given uh, a go ahead to hold this protest. Uh, but now there are conflicting reports that we've been getting from different people, including a video that was posted and shared, especially on the microblogging site X, which used to be Twitter, where we are shown people being beaten up uh, and they look like protesters being beaten up. And the allegation or the claim is that these were being beaten up by Zambian security forces, the soldiers and the police. So this is what I want to address about. Uh, but before I go ahead, I would like to request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video and, and, and share it. So uh, the problem with this uh, issue is that there are conflicting reports is even from media houses, both in Zimbabwe and Zambia because uh, there are other media houses which report that uh, indeed this protest was created yesterday and today and that the police had given the go ahead for Zimbabweans to hold that particular protest uh, and a Zambian opposition leader of the former ruling party uh, that is uh, a member of the patriotic front uh, is quoted in one of the newspapers in Zimbabwe saying that indeed the protest was cleared and he was complaining that this cannot be because Zimbabwe and Zambia are what he calls twins uh, and he says that it cannot be that President Hakainde Ichilema allows Zimbabweans to protest against uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa in Zambia because this would create a rift diplomatically. You know that there was already some form of a rift diplomatically between Zimbabwe and Zambia uh, based on the ideological differences between the parties that are ruling uh, in Zambia and Zimbabwe and the, the ideological differences between President Emerson Mnangagwa and a Zambian leader Hakainde Hichilema who is known to be a friend of advocate Nelson Chamisa who until recently was the leader of the mainstream opposition party uh, in Zimbabwe that was the triple C so the patriotic front is saying you know that the patriotic front uh, is friends with ZANU PF uh, from the days that the patriotic front was in charge so they are saying that this protest has been cleared but it cannot be they don't allow that they are saying that this is a bad move by president hakainde Hichilem. and then the conflict now arises when now uh, a zambian uh, newspaper now says that 
there was no such clearance of any protest. They are saying they, they wrote a, a story saying that Zambia, uh, the Zambian police service had not received any notification of any pro planned protest by Zimbabwean opposition and uh, that there was no way that such uh, a protest would take place. And then yesterday, you'll remember that also, we came uh, and posted a video of Zimbabwean journalist Patron Kambakwe, who happens to be in Zambia, uh, shooting and saying that uh, it seems that the protest would have problems or the protesters would have problems because he said that it looks like the Zambian authorities are scared of President Emerson Nangako and that the protest might not go ahead. And then we saw in that clip, uh, he was accosted by what looked like members of the security forces of Zambia telling him to switch off his cameras and not to broadcast. And then I personally spoke to him late last night and he had promised that he was going to come live and address. And I've seen that he has done just that. But now also the conflict or the, the conflicting claims still surface and we are not in a position to directly say what exactly it is that is going to happen today but what i can tell you is that yesterday there were no protests and the videos that you saw flying around of soldiers of or what looked like soldiers and police hitting people is actually a very old video we have just been told that is a very very old video which has nothing to do with what is happening in zambia or what purportedly happened in zambia yesterday so at, at this moment in time we are trying to find the correct information that we can give to you but we will come out live again later in this day uh, because this video is said to be a four-year-old video uh, which was taken at Woodlands police station in Lusaka where the president HH was appearing uh, and at that particular time you remember that he was in the opposition and his supporters were being beaten up by the police yes it indeed is Zambian police uh, but they were not beating uh, Zimbabwean protesters they were beating actually uh, HH supporters that was four years ago. We are talking here about 2020 or before then. So this is what we have for you right now. We are going to try and reach out to people who are in Zambia already because there are people who are not believing what journalist Kambakwe is churning out because they say that he is not a credible source of information. There are others who are accusing him of a number of other issues that we cannot delve into because we are not part of that and we are not going to be a part of the people that are used to paint anybody in anyhow because we are journalists. He is a journalist. We respect what he is doing. He respects what we are doing and it's not our uh, it's not our role to try and uh, downplay what he's playing or what he's doing or to try and point some loopholes or anything bad uh, around him or we cannot also be seen to be uh, adding into the assault uh, that he's already getting. Uh, what we can only wish for on his part is that he returns uh, home safe without any problems that he would have encountered. So we are not going to talk about what Kambakwe uh, is doing or is saying or the comments that people uh, are giving about him or the criticism that he is getting or the praises that he is getting because we try, we respect uh, his, his job uh, that he is doing then and we wish him all the best. Uh, we will come back again in a live broadcast and update you on what exactly is transpiring in Zambia. Are there going to be protests? Are they being held? Have they been cleared? And what outcomes they encounter? But those who are based in South Africa, we will uh, interview the Progressive Forum of Zimbabweans uh, here in South Africa probably next week because they've given us the go ahead. Then they are coming probably on Monday, on Tuesday. They are organizing protests here in South Africa, in Johannesburg, uh, at uh, the Zimbabwean consulate, because they've got their own grievances, which are, of course, linked to the political situation in uh, back home, but also linked to other socioeconomic factors like passport fees uh, and other cost of services that the government is doing uh, to Zimbabweans or the services that the government is providing rather to Zimbabweans, especially those that are based outside the country. But they are also uh, having 
a, a, a problem with the government of the day because they say that the president who is sitting now is uh, a product of a rape of the electoral laws of the country of a rape of the constitution of the country and therefore that he raped the elections that is what they are claiming so what we are going to do as journalists is we are going to provide coverage of whoever is holding whatever uh, around the Zimbabwe situation because what we want to do is to make sure that you get the information as it is we don't have anything to do with it but we are journalists and it is our duty to provide information and factually report on what is happening so thank you very much we will meet probably later today uh, in the afternoon as we address you live and we expect you to participate so just uh, make sure that you if you are in Zambia or you know what is happening in Zambia uh, just use the comment section underneath this video to tell us what is happening and to provide uh, maybe details of people that we can contact them uh, in Zambia so that we can continue to provide the information that is correct, that is based on facts and not conjecture or uh, anything else that is far away from the truth. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.